Well, beloved dub dub motherfuckers, what is going on, everyone? <coughs> it is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades, with the final mouth, Commodore Urban. And welcome back to another awesome fucking video, guys. I greatly do appreciate it. And before we dive into this bitch, I want to give a big shout out to all of you guys, my viewers, and my subscribers for sticking around watching this shit. The reason why I fucking do it is for you guys, so yeah. Anyway, you can see here I have. This nice little display of Titanic related memorabilia and artifacts, including a replica first class dining room plate, a European collector's edition of Titanic on VHS, my authentic Titanic coal coin, and my fucking amazingly detailed 1 400 scale model of the unsinkable ship herself, Titanic. And you probably can guess it, this is a continuation of a series of book reviews that I've done about the great ship. And in the last book review that I've done, it was recreating Titanic and her sisters. Well, this book is a more, it, it's a recent book too as well. And um, the publishing date for this particular book, it was 2018, but on the book itself, it says it was Published in 2020. Ugh. Year of COVID. Fuck. Anyway, the book that I'm going to talk about here is right here. Titanic. True Stories of Her Passengers, Crew, and Legacy by Nicola Pierce. Titanic. The Facts, Stories, and Legends. RMS Titanic was one of the biggest and most luxurious ship ships the world had ever seen. Fuck. <coughs> Damn it. What happened on April 14, 1912 when Titanic hit an iceberg is in many ways still unbelievable. Nicola Pierce has distilled her research into this accessible moving book on everything from the ship's planning and construction to the passengers and crew to the sinking and aftermath. Though words, through words and a wealth of period photographs, Titanic offers a fascinating journey for all who are interested in the dramatic story of the famously unsinkable ship. And he goes into more detail here, too. It says, the, tra the tragic story of RMS Titanic and her ill-fated maiden voyage continues to enthrall over a century after her journey to the bottom of the sea. Only 705 passengers out of approximately 2,220 on board made it safely into lifeboats. Filled with period photographs, this fascinating, poignant book looks at Titanic and the people associated with her, from how it all began with the ship's legacy to the ship's legacy. Within these pages, you'll find rare images, moving anecdotes from survivors, and astonishing facts and theories, such as no picture of Titanic's grand staircase exists. Pictured inside is the grand staircase of Titanic's sister ship Olympic, with the same design, <coughs> or so we think. <clears throat> The exact fate of Captain Edward John Smith remains a mystery. One of the more ludicrous Titanic theories is that the ship was sunk by our owner, the American banker John Pierport J.P. Morgan, to rid himself to of competitors and, opponent, and uh, opponents. That's really fucking stupid. There were four French roosters and hens on board, courtesy of first-class passenger Ella Holmes White. She was bringing them back to New York to improve her poultry stock. Irish prelate and poet Lady Gregory sent her American-based lover, art collector John Quinn, a ring which, to his apparent relief, went down on Titanic. Mr. and Mrs. Isidore Stress refused to be parted or saved from the sinking ship. That is true. The final report from the British Red Commissioner's inquiry stated that the SS California site Titanic's first rocket should have pushed through the ice and consequently would have saved many more, even all those lives which were lost, which there's actually more to that story than there is, and I'll explain when I get the book read. Armas Carpathia arrived almost two hours after the Titanic sank to spend the next four hours res rescuing those in the lifeboats. And of course, a little bit of on the... Um, the the author. Basically, <coughs> this book, Titanic, True Stories of Her Passengers, Crew, and Legacy, it is a, um, it is basically kind of like a, a book for everybody about the subject of the ship. Basically talks about 
just different little things about the ship's history, like the captain of the Titanic, Titanic sisters and their disasters, the man who owned the Titanic, the um, animals on board Titanic, lost treasures, artists and writers on board, to, um, you know, Morgan Robertson, genius or psychic, Titanic Trail, Bruce Ismay, Ernest Shackleton, and Titanic, the SS California mystery ship, Titanic in the movies, the first and last survivors, Titanic Belfast. It's basically just little snippets of information regarding Titanic. And as you read in this book, it's a really nice little wealth of information. And there was actually some shit in this book I did not even know myself, so. And even when this picture says, says Titanic's gigantic propellers, this is actually Olympic. And I'll be doing a video explaining about that too. See? Titanic. That is an amazing picture. See this? Basically, as you go through, I actually took a picture of the Grand Staircase from the Titanic Museum that looks similar to this, except so many people are crawling all over it. It's just nuts. But, as you can see, as you go through it, there's, there's a lot of information in this book regarding, just like I said, little snippets of Titanic's history. And even talks about the sisters, Olympic and Britannic, which is very fascinating in their own right. And of course, Britannic. I would love to build a model of her. <coughs> and just, you know, different treasures are on board the ship, and of course, writers and artists. There's Jacques Heath Fatudo. He was the one that wrote the series of books like, called The Thinking Machine. I think that's what the stories were called. The. Yeah. It was about a detective before um, Sherlock Holmes, who was known as the Thinking Machine. And he was the one that came up with it. I read some of his books, they're actually quite good. Quite quite good stuff. Quite quite nice literature. Quite nice. Uh, Francis Davis Millet, he is a American painter, artist. Pretty neat shit. Like I said, you just read through this stuff and it's just quite exceptional and you come away from anyway there was something I wanted to read in here show you guys but I just can't find it now hmm the lifeboats, oh, the first and last survivors, right here. The last to leave the Titanic, Colonel Archibald Gracie. Now this man I would have loved to have talked to. He was sadly the first person to die from the Titanic, first survivor. But he wrote an amazing book called The Truth About the Titanic, which I'm actually gonna be reviewing, to that, reviewing that book next, so. But sadly though, you know, he wrote this book and right before he, you know, had it printed or whatever it is, he died. He died in, um, I believe, yeah. Anyway, sorry guys, just, like I said, there's so much little snippets of stuff in this book. But overall, Nicola Pierce. Did a fantastic, I mean, a fantastic fucking job with this book of actually getting little stories. She didn't just cram everything into one book to make it, you know, that fucking thick. She took some of the more interesting aspects about the story of the Titanic and gave us these quick, easy little stories. Each chapter could be like a miniature book about a particular part of the Titanic story. It's really fucking brilliantly, you know, written out and really well done. It makes for good reading, too. I read this book in about two days. Quick reading. You could probably finish it in a few hours if you 
really dove into it, but I didn't. But overall, Titanic, true stories of her passengers, crew, and legacy, I would give this book five stars and two thumbs up. <coughs> it is definitely well worth a checking into and reading. And if you find a copy cheap enough for yourself, pick it up and add to your collection. Fucking amazing little book. So yeah, there you have it, guys. That is the book. Titanic True Stories of Our Passengers, Crew, and Legacy by Nicola Pierce. And I hope you enjoyed this book review. And if you have any questions or comments about anything I fucking talk about, leave in the comment section below. I'll get back with you. I will try to. I love getting messages from you guys, so yeah. And anyway, if you're new to the channel like this, yeah, I fucking do, hit that fucking subscribe button, hit the damn notification bell. Never miss a V from yours truly ever again. Until next time, this is Commander Urban saying that smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you. God bless you all. Take care. Stay safe. Be yourselves. Jesus and the good Lord love you all very much. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you on a warm train wind where hell anyone knows. And let's go Brandon. Fuck Joe Biden. And fuck Kamala Harris, too. She's a bitch. She ain't going to be president, so yeah, fuck that. And um, Trump 2024, baby. Yeah.